everything I ate at McDonald's in New Zealand. Of course, they had so many things I've never seen before, like mac and cheese bites. I got so much stuff, and look at this Cadbury Flake McFlurry. It had this thick chocolate sauce and these super sweet milk chocolate flakes, and of course, the ice cream was so creamy. Like, if you love Cadbury, you have to try it. And everyone's been saying that the apple pie here is way better than the States, and y'all were not lying. It's so cinnamony, and it actually has that, like, rich apple pie flavor, and I tried it with a soft serve. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The warm, crunchy pie with that soft, smooth ice cream. I also had to try the mac and cheese bites, and they weren't bad. Like, they had a nice crunch, and the breading wasn't oily or anything, but then I tried them with the barbecue sauce, and that's a game changer. Sweet and tangy and cheesy and crispy. Yum. And finally, I had to try the almighty Texas barbecue burger off the gourmet creations menu, and it had barbecue sauce, classic McChicken sauce, two patties, two slices of cheese, and caramelized onions and bacon. And oh my gosh, it's so meaty, but the quality of the meat is actually kind of amazing. Like the bacon is so thick and flavorful and that's all for today. Only eating at bakeries for a full day in New Zealand. First up, I went to a pie shop because everyone said I had to try a New Zealand pie. And the crust was so flaky and like golden brown and crispy. And it was filled with butter chicken that was so rich and sweet. And it had these big tender chunks of chicken. Also, it was piping hot. And then I went to this bakery that was plant-based actually. And I had to find a ginger crunch. So this is a really popular New Zealand dessert. It's this thick, delicious ginger icing that kind of tasted like cookie dough on top of this crunchy, chewy oat base. And it's like sharp and sweet. It's so good. And I got this chocolate and praline donut that was heavy and the filling was so caramely. It kind of reminded me of like a chocolate pudding, like really thick. And the donut was nice and fluffy too. And then I got a sausage roll and the filling was so flavorful, like really fragrant. And the puff pastry was super flaky. Honestly, I kind of forgot that it was vegan. And finally, I went to a cupcake bakery and they all looked so good, but I was getting kind of full. So I just got two. I got this carrot cake one that was so moist. Oh my gosh, super soft. And the cream cheese frosting was so light and sweet and then the guy said to try this chocolate raspberry one and it had these crunchy little chocolate balls on top and this sugary raspberry syrup was super chocolatey too and that's all for today only eating pie for a full day in New Zealand. For breakfast, I went to this bakery that had like 30 different pies. I couldn't decide, so I got two. And look at this breakfast ham, egg, and cheese pie. The crust was so flaky and it was packed with ham. And you didn't even have to open this tomato sauce packet. Like you just squeeze and it comes out. And also tomato sauce here is so good. It's really tangy and so flavorful. I also had to try this minced potato top pie that was smothered in these fluffy, creamy, rich mashed potatoes. And then the minced meat was super savory and it was so filling. Oh my gosh. For lunch, I checked out another local bakery that had lolly cakes and I know it's not pie, but I've been looking for these since I got here. They're this like super classic New Zealand dessert that have the most interesting texture. It's like fluffy, chewy marshmallow candy inside this pastry that's kind of like cookie dough. It kind of tastes like bubble gum and chocolate. Super sweet. And back to the pie, I got this cranberry brie one and I love brie. It's so soft and rich and like salty and cheesy. I just can't get enough. It also had these big chunks of chicken and sweet cranberries. Thanksgiving vibes for sure. And finally, I stumbled on this farmer's market on the way back to the ship and I found this cool pie cart. I mean, the sign said they were pies, but they were kind of more like mini pizzas. I got this lamb one because apparently New Zealand lamb is like incredible and it was so flavorful and that's all for today. Everything I ate at Burger King in New Zealand. You already know I ordered so much food. Look at this cookies and cream sundae. The chocolate sauce reminded me of like Smucker's hot fudge and the Oreo pieces added the perfect crunch. And apparently their soft serve is like new and improved. And I mean, it was like really thick and creamy. And I just ordered one of the mini churros, but they gave me two and they were covered in cinnamon sugar. And so warm and really soft inside. And again, the chocolate sauce reminded me of hot fudge. They also gave me a caramel sauce that was super sweet. It did have a really nice caramel flavor, but yeah, just so sugary. They also have these crispy dippers, which are like potato wedges, but they're cut down the middle, so they're perfect for dipping. And they're like thick, but still super crispy. Oh, and the creamy garlic aioli was delicious. And look at this frozen sour raspberry Fanta. It was really fizzy and like fluffy, and the sour flavor kind of cut the sweetness, so it wasn't too, too sweet. Of course, I had to get a burger. It was called the Barbecue Rodeo, and it had an onion ring inside. The barbecue sauce was nice and tangy, and the patty was like a little juicy, but I'm not sure the onion ring really added much. And finally, I tried these salt and pepper popcorn chicken bites, which did have a nice crunch and the chicken quality was actually not bad, like definitely better than a normal nugget. And that's all for today. 
letting my followers decide what I eat for a full day in Australia. First up, I got a lot of requests to go to Cold Rock, which is an ice cream spot where they have like a million toppings. I got the cookie jar, which has cookies and cream ice cream, Oreos, cookie dough, and Tim Tams mixed in. I also added some caramello koalas for some caramel flavor, and the ice cream is so smooth and creamy. I've also never had a Tim Tam and ice cream, and now I can never go back. And this comment got the most likes. She said to also go to a pub for some chicken schnitzel, and look at how massive this piece of chicken was. This is their house crumbled chicken schnitzel and they also make their gravy in-house and the edges were like a little crispy and the gravy was so thick and rich and the chicken was so juicy and so tender and the chips were also really good in the gravy but definitely better with the tomato sauce like I don't know if I can ever go back to American ketchup and then I also got a bunch of comments to go to Woolies for some mud cake I've never heard of this before but apparently it's like a quintessential Aussie birthday cake and wow it was so moist and covered in this like smooth decadent chocolate ice Icing. And apparently if you buy a few and stack them, you can like decorate it yourself. And then you've got a super quick and easy birthday cake, which is also like so delicious. And that's all for today. What I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. For breakfast, I tried some snacks that I bought in Australia and someone recommended these snake gummies, which are like all natural, but they're literally some of the juiciest, like most flavorful gummies I've ever had. They were so fruity and the perfect amount of chewiness. The texture kind of reminded me of like Swedish fish. I also heard these violet crumbles were good and it's like chocolate covered honeycomb toffee that's so crunchy, like way crunchier than a Butterfinger. But after a few chews, then it kind of melts in your mouth. The toffee does get stuck in your teeth a little bit though. Then for lunch, we're allowed to go up to the pool grill after like 3 p.m. on sea days and I got this steak. Oh my gosh, I got it medium and it came with their house made smoky barbecue sauce, which is like super tangy and sweet. And the steak was so juicy. And for dessert, they had cannolis, but the cream filling had like little pieces of dried fruit in it instead of chocolate chips. I don't know, but the shell was like perfectly light and crispy and it was really creamy. And after our show tonight, they had a pizza party at the crew bar. They always have themed nights like this, like nacho night and stuff like that. The pepperoni had like a hint of spice, but the crust was a little too soft and the sauce was just kind of boring. I feel like the Hawaiian one was better because the pineapple added more flavor. And anyway, that's all for today. Only eating at Nando's for a full day in Australia. I had to get a few things for lunch. I got these grilled halloumi sticks that came with smoky capsicum relish. And I just learned that that means red pepper. Anyway, the cheese was like squeaky and rich and the dip was a little spicy and a little sweet. And I also got the peri peri chips that were covered in savory, salty seasoning. And they had a really nice crunch too. And I'm not sure exactly what the peronese sauce was, but it was really creamy. And I got the fourth of a chicken with hot sauce. And wow, it was seriously so juicy and tender and the sauce like wasn't too spicy but it did have a lot of flavor. It was really buttery and then I came back later for dinner and the lady said to get this pita that had chicken, bacon, avocado, tomato, and this creamy aioli. The bacon was thick and I got the chicken with lemon herb sauce that was really tangy and bright and I also tried the garlic bread which was so crispy and warm and it did have a really great garlic flavor and then the only dessert was a chocolate mousse but it was Belgian dark chocolate and it was actually so rich and really sweet smooth and it just like melted in my mouth and I wanted to see if the spicy rice was actually spicy and it was like definitely spicier than the hot chicken so I put it in the wrap and that was a game changer. It added so much heat and flavor and I also wanted to try the extra extra hot sauce but it was definitely not for me just too sour and anyway that's all for today. Everything I ate at Domino's in New Zealand. They had such an interesting menu. Like look at these pepperoni puff rolls. It's this huge roll of really flaky puff pastry filled with melty mozzarella and pepperoni and this like tangy tomato sauce. Also, it was piping hot. And on the menu, they had this whole section of kiwi favorites. So this was called the Mr. Wedge. It had this sweet barbecue sauce and crispy ham and these garlicky potato wedges. And then it was topped with mayo. And it was actually so good, like really rich. And another kiwi favorite was this apricot chicken pizza that had green peppers and onions and the sweet apricot sauce on top that went really well with the savory chicken and so much cheese and the crust was nice and chewy it had a lot of flavor and in australia i tried the churros so i tried the dutch pancakes this time they were covered in sugary icing and butter and they were so soft and warm and fluffy i actually really like them and they also had handcrafted new zealand ice cream this one was lamington flavored and it was intense it kind of gave me like bubblegum vibes but it was so creamy 
creamy and smooth and soft. I want to try all the flavors now. And if you're ever in New Zealand, you have to try an L&P. It's got this amazing lemon flavor, super fizzy, and that's all for today. Eating whatever I want for a full day in Australia. So Sydney has the best brunch spots. For breakfast, I got this super bougie beans on toast that had these really juicy mushrooms and house-made beans that were like super sweet and buttery. And the toasted sourdough had the perfect crunch. And I don't know why avocados taste so good here, but they're just so soft and like creamy. And then I explored the city and I found this really cool mall that had a chocolate bar. They had like a million different desserts, but the cashier told me to get the chocolate fondue. It came with banana bread and oh my gosh, the melty milk chocolate was like so smooth and rich and it just coats your mouth in sweet, warm, chocolatey goodness. And I also got these crunchy, sugary Belgian waffles. And it also came with marshmallows that were really fluffy and super sweet and these like juicy strawberries and the bananas were so soft. I literally could not stop eating it. And later I was craving a burger. Oh my gosh, the beef in Australia is amazing. This was a 100% organic grass-fed truffle burger and the menu even said like the town that the cows come from. It had caramelized onions and melty cheese and truffle sauce and the bun was toasted too. And the chips were good, like nice and salty. And I also tried my friend's schnitzel, which was so crunchy. And anyway, that's all for today. What I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. So fruit is kind of a commodity on this ship and the more expensive fruits are usually gone in like five minutes, but I was one of the first ones at breakfast and I got this pavlova with fresh fruit. It was so crunchy and sugary. And I was even early enough to get some of the grapes, yum. And I love the cream puffs here. They have this like crunchy sugar coating and they're filled with this thick custard. Then for lunch in the mess, they had a pasta station and you could get it however you like. So I got kind of like a chicken carbonara with extra bacon. It was so cheesy. The noodles were definitely overcooked, but the sauce was really buttery. And they also brought out all of these gorgeous desserts from tea time yesterday. I got this one that had this pretty chocolate music note. It was a mango mousse and it was so sweet and tart. And this one had layers of raspberry sauce and whipped cream and custard. It was so thick and soft and also really sweet. And then later I went to dinner with some guests and I got this salmon tartare that just melts in your mouth. And this lobster bisque is one of the best soups I've ever had. And then for my main, I got the roasted veal and they always bring out some like mini desserts to help you decide what you want. So I got this chocolate souffle. Oh my gosh, it was so soft and fluffy and rich. And that's all for today.